Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's artistic license. We're gonna be playing some more Final Fantasy X-2. Thank you so much for the welcome back, Gotch. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. All right, here we go. Let's get back into it. All right, <clears throat> we are down in Chateau LeBlanc. Um, first thing we need to do is go into this room right here. And here's our chest with our prize. We can get a golden hairpin. There are two identical pictures of LeBlanc in this room. Whose room is this? Very interesting. Very interesting. How are you doing today, um, by the way, Gotch? How are you doing this weekend? And how did you find me? Did you find me just from um, from Final Fantasy X-2 from the category? It's a good game, so I can definitely understand that. Yeah! Yeah! All right, then we're going to come around over here to this room. Hey, this isn't the sphere they stole, is it? Let's watch it. survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Exercise, zero, zilch, and zip ball. Job done. Ah, uh, you pinhead. Did you even count? That oh, sounds like Ormy and Logos. Missing. There should be three more candidates and their recorder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, your point? Three plus one makes how many? Four still live. Fix it. Ugh. Figures. Four survivors. Did you say something? No, sir. I pay him no mind. Alright, Crimson Sphere number 10. It's a dud. Only naughty girls would scrounge through other people's bedrooms. Well, we're naughty girls now. You? You're the ones who broke into our airship. The boss's orders are permission enough. So I think this is Logos's room that we're in right now because it has the guns on the wall, and I think the other one is Ormi's room with the weight lift, the like barbell in there. <clears throat> That's what I choose to think. I don't know if there's anything in the game that says that, but that's what I think. This is Logos' room and the other one is Ormi's room. And then we're gonna go into LeBlanc's room in a moment. Excuse you, what debuff did you just give Yuna? That was rude, whatever that was. I don't, I can't tell. Like, she looks fine, but it was rude. You're part of Team Highlight. Oh, are you in Team Highlight, Gotch? I'll have to go check out your stream if that's true. I love Jill. She's the best. Someday I hope to be as cool as Jill. Booby traps. Yeah, Jill's amazing. Yes, very true. Okay, so now we got to come around this way. And we got to go all the way to the end of this little guy. This little, like, hallway here. And we're going to kill on the way. Yeah, Team Highlight has a lot of awesome people in it. So I assume then, I assume you then stream too, right? What kind of stuff do you stream? All right, so we're gonna hop, hop, hop all the way to the end. And, oh wait. Yeah, 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 I wanna do this first. Okay, then you get the spike wall and it's gonna come for you. 
but you gotta run. Like this. Hop, hop. You gotta hop when you run. And you can't jump down here for some reason. For some reason, you can only jump down here when spikes are chasing you. I don't know why, but that's how that works. Now I can suddenly do it. And we dodge the spikes. Oh. <clears throat> I stream RPGs, horror, and fighting games. Oh, very cool. I try to play horror games. I know that's like really good for streaming, but I'm a weenie. <laughs> I'm a weenie. Like I can play like dating sim kind of horror games. Like we played Doki Doki Literature Club and that was scary, but I could still do it. Okay, here's override number one. So we're gonna activate it. But like any kind of like, if it's an action game, I can't do it. And then we jump down and then there's two more overrides, which is down here. Yes, we're gonna activate. I feel that lol, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna jump down here and do this override. Okay, now we're gonna go to the spike wall again. I've been a fan of horror for a long time since I was five. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, if you're a fan, then you can like, I think you would be like used to it, right? And it's like, okay. And then we're gonna open this door. Now that we've done the overrides, the booby traps are gone and it opens. Me too. Do you, girl? Do ya? I do too. Pretty easy. Well, let me drop you a follow so I can make sure to try to check out your stream at some point. There we go. There we go. Now I won't forget. Now I won't forget to go take a look at your stream. All right. Now we're gonna come in here. This is LeBlanc's room. For the last part of this area. Goodbye. All right, there's a chest in there, it's but we have to do the cutscene. Right? Let's split up and look. Found it. Found it. Huh? They found it. Now I get it. I was wondering why they'd bother stealing half a broken sphere. Of course! They already had the other half! Very good, loves. I went through a lot of trouble gathering those pieces, all for Noji Wooji. So don't you lay a finger on it! Let's get them, boys! We're stealing it back, LeBlanc. You don't get to say anything about that. Time to clobber the robber! Yeah, time to clobber the robber. Let's clobber robber. Not so mighty, guard. Aw, oh, LeBlanc, well, I already took out one of your peoples. Sorry. This outfit is wild, right? I love the outfits in this game. They're amazing. Supposedly, we're getting an X3. I have heard this. I have heard this, and I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of am like, but why? Please stop on one hand. And on the other hand, I'm kind of like, oh, but I would go back to Spira. They could release so many Final Fantasy X games, and I would keep playing them because I just I just love Spira so much, like as a world, as a concept. So like, who am I kidding? It could suck, and I would still, still get it and still play it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you can't stop me. You can't stop me. I love Spira too much. Especially if they get the OG VAs for real. The voice acting in 10 and 10 2, top notch. So good. Uh, want another helping of your just desserts? <gasps> no one's gonna hear you scream from down here. W wait a second. I'll let you see what's in the sphere. Let us. 
Please, the sphere is yours to watch. Mission complete. And we get healing light garment grid. The game could be absolutely horrible, but if they have paint in it, I'm good. <laughs> I understand. You're a man with a mission. I, res I can respect that. <clears throat> Creepy face. Creepy face weapon thingy. Mm-mm. That is the Colossus, Vegna Gun. We finished our analysis of the sphere. It appears to have been recorded underneath Bavel. I see Bavel hasn't lost its old fondness for secrets. Of course not. Exactly. Those Yevon scum? have been concealing that weapon all along. If anyone uses that thing, Spira is done for. But it's a Machina! All we have to do is shaky-shake our way up to it and take it apart. That's right, Riku. That's what Nucci's got in mind. And of course, whatever he's planning is what I'm planning. What about you? Me? The summoner who defeated Sin ought to stand up and defend Spira again. Don't tell me what to do, LeBlanc. So, then I guess we're on the same side. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> waiting where? Don't be silly, love. On your airship, of course. I've always wanted to take a spin on that thing. <sighs> And now we're suddenly allies. Sin is gone. The calm is here. I thought our peaceful days would never end. The eternal calm. I really believed it would last forever. Until now. Oh, you know. I realized how fragile it can be. Save your progress. Yes, we would like to save. Okay, it should be at 41.8%. Let's make sure that that's right. Not that there's anything we can do about it if it's wrong. Okay, yeah, 41.8. That's correct. That's what we're supposed to be at. I guess they want the full experience just riding on the roof like that. The wind definitely won't knock them over. First things first, we are going to Bavel. Full speed ahead! You just wait, Blondie! You know, what next? <laughs> She's off to save Spira, of course! Right! You <sighs> mean, you mean. Always getting herself dragged into trouble. That's true. But it's because she wants to be. It's We're not dragged in. There should be lots of there, so why don't she likes it. Them on the side? She wants to help people. Uh -huh. <sighs> Just admit it, love. You're a goody goody. Riku knows this. <gasps> this kind of stuff bothers me. Because Riku knows this. Riku knows how headstrong Yuna is and what matters to her. And she doesn't even take that into account in this one. Okay, so you're forced to go to Bavel here. You can't do anything else. We have to go to Bavel. <clears throat> so how are we gonna do this? Um... It's obvious we nab the head honcho. Then we make him lead us to Vegnagun and checkmate. Not bad. I got no problem with this. Our target is the new Yevon traitor, Barrelai! A girly man like that doesn't stand a chance without his escort. If you say so, Logos. Careful. He's much stronger than he looks. Company. Who goes there? The Go Wings. 
Oh, the High Summoner. Please, forgive my rudeness. That's right. You can't be rude to me. That's cool. They don't fight you if it's a new Yevon run. All right, we have to infiltrate Bavel. Um, let's save. And this high pillow right here will sell you stuff. Um, but I don't ever buy any of it. But here's what he'll he'll sell you stuff. That's what he's doing there. All right, so we can take this guy down. Sounds good. You don't get to do that if they're enemies because of giving the sphere to the Youth League. But since we gave it to New Yevon, they'll just let us pass. They have no idea I'm, I'm about to fuck up their world. But they gonna know. They gonna know good. All right, first we're gonna go to this east area. I think, oh wait, no. I just went west and I meant to go east. I said east, but I totally just walked west. Anyway, we gotta go to the east area, just kidding. I don't know my left or my right, you guys. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. So you hop up on here. And there, that activates the west area where we just were. All right, now we got to go into the hole. You gonna go down the hole. Boop. Okay, drive settings change. That's what we want. And they go down. Now we got to go back and take the lift that's in the middle. This way. Jeez, things really are a mess, huh? Yeah. Get on the lift, Payne. We're gonna leave you behind. Okay, good. She made it. Whew, I thought we were gonna leave her behind for a second. reek of secrets. Don't let a couple of fiends throw you. True. All right, there's lots of fighting to do here and lots of chests to get. So when we come up to this intersection, we're actually going to turn right and go that way first because um, there's some chests that way. But this should get us some good like level ups and all that kind of stuff fighting all these enemies. Why you got to poison me like that? If you feel like I feel, I got the antidote. Hmm? Alright, first chest is down here. Oh, there's set battles. I think there's set battles and random battles in this area. And there's no music, it's so creepy. Yeah! yeah! The lack of music is like, woo. Okay, does that... Is slow one of the things that... No, it doesn't stick, okay. So this chest is some remedies. If you've got the cure, then I've got the remedy. And then this way is another chest. Remember doing this the puzzle in here in 10? How annoying away. it is. Confident, huh? 
It's very challenging, the Pavel one. Oh yay, Pain learned a ability. I want to try to get her as far through Gunner as I can while we're here. Because we're about to do something really fun with her next. And after this. Because we're going to get a new dress sphere. <gasps> Spoilers. And if you feel like I feel, I got the antidote. Okay. This is more remedies. They know. They know you need them. All right, now we're gonna go back the other direction. Oh, oh set fight. <clears throat> oversold. Oh, I should fight the other one first, the one that's not oversold. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, the oversold one didn't have much HP now, did he? I We've thought he would last a little longer. Fly. Okay, so now we're gonna go south right here. And this chest is 3K, so 3,000 gil. All right, so now we're done with this little area. We can exit to the north and come up to this level. So first we're going to go to the left, to the left, to the left, and we got to fight this guy. Hi. Hello, Squishy. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I am. These stupid things keep poisoning me. It's not fair. They should not be allowed. Gosh. All right, this chest is some eye potions. We can go back down and there was two chests over the other direction. Yeah, so over to the right, we got these two chests right here. This is some more potions. And Phoenix Downs? Yeah, Phoenix Downs. Hey, little lizard. You're the annoying poison bitch. Bring it, punk. Don't poison me. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. My gosh. I could get used to this. This game would almost be my favorite if they made Blitzball more fun. Oh my god, for real. So for the first time, I actually tried to do the Blitzball in this game, like after um, beating it and like understanding it a lot better. And um, it was awful. It was freaking awful. Oh, XP zero. What the heck? Oh, that's what she... No, hello. We cannot have that. Remedy that. Um, yeah, I hate it. The 10 Blitzball was fine. Like, it wasn't that good, but it wasn't bad either. There was nothing broken about it. Why'd they give us, like, Blitzball manager complicated nonsense? All right. Um, is there anything? There's nothing that way. Okay, we're going to go this way then. I thought there was a chest that way, but there's not. All right, this chest. This is a Chocobo Feather. For some reason, this room automatically Dutch angles. I guess we're supposed to know that like some creepy, amazingly awesome, um, crazy shit's about to happen. It's auto chess for Blitzball, right? It's just not fun. Oh, and the Hypello follows us up here. He can sell you more shit, but we're not gonna buy anything. So we don't really care. Yeah, it's nonsense. I hate the Blitzball in this game. I am like really hardcore debating. Like if I wanna, when we get to that part, if I wanna stream it, if I wanna show off the stuff you can get from it, because you can get an AP egg from it, which is kind of worth it. So yeah, they give us the Resident Evil camera angle. True, Resident Evil loves Dutch angles. That's a big hole. Let's 
and it's windy. Oh, there you are. Where were you helping back there with all the monsters? The worst part is they had so many cool characters to play with, like the gull wings only for it to play awful. True, like Yuna can actually participate in the Blitzball and like, but but it sucks. But it sucks, so like who wants to do it, you know? It's, it's dumb, I hate it. Okay, we have to go this way? Yeah, to this ledge. There's a scene. Yeah, there we go. Uh-oh, more booby traps, but from Bavel this time. Watch the exit. I don't take orders. I bet you do, LeBlanc. I bet you do. But I'll make an exception this time. Knew it. Us, okay, so if you come down here, I think. Yeah, there's this pedestal, pedestal, which will give you some instructions. Passage to the lower sanctum is blocked. Manually disable the security system to proceed. Use the three control towers with blue lights to disable the security system, but be careful, the towers with red lights are set to defense mode. Okay, so we're gonna see what that means in a moment. The music's really good in this game. I agree, I love the music. It's like so hype and cool. And then we're gonna come talk to LeBlanc. Okay, just use the chain over there if you wanna cross to the center. Are you blind, love? No, I'm not blind, it's just the camera angle makes it very hard to see. My god, don't be so rude. So anyways, you're supposed to jump down this chain. Ultimately, that's what you're supposed to do. Whee! We surf the chain. Just like in 10. Hey! Wait! It's us! The gull wings! I don't think they care. Yeah, they definitely don't care. Giving New Yevon the sphere was, like, pointless. As far as this goes. They still fight you. It's dumb. They just don't fight you on the way in. I love how deadpan she is, right? Pain is so cool. And look at her gunner outfit. Like, it's so, it's so neat. Like, I like putting, I like putting Yuna on the, on Warrior and instead of Pain, and then putting Pain on Gunner. So you can see like Yuna's, how Yuna has Titus's swords. And Pain gets such a cool like gunner outfit. Okay, so I'm just looking at my notes because there's a very specific way you have to do this. So this right here that we're on right now, this is tower one. Um, okay, so we have to do tower one first. Yeah, Titus's sword and stance, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Samurai also has one, like all of Yuna's swords are Titus's swords because Samurai has another one of Titus's swords too. It's so cool. I like, I love the attention to detail there. And like how Riku has Oron swords, like that's neat to me. And then the pain of course has unique swords cause she's the cool, new cool one. <laughs> Bitch, don't haymaker me. Excuse you. You die now. You pay now. Okay, and it goes clockwise. So if this is one, then this is six right here. So we gotta defeat five next. So this should be five. Pain has a lot of my favorite outfits. They are very good. And I love how like Yuna's gunner outfit kind of looks similar to Titus's original outfit, you know, like with the long short and then the long on one side and the short on the other. And then she's got like the symbol, you know, here. It's very cool how much of him is reflected in Yuna's costumes.
Yeah, she has a nice design, yeah. I am sad that there's no such thing as summoners anymore in 10 I mean, lore-wise, obviously it makes sense, but it would be cool to have a summoner dress sphere. It would be really, really cool. All right, security lock two of three disabled. Okay, so that would be five, so this tower is four, and this tower is three. We gotta defeat three next. I don't know why her hair is so long. <laughs> I don't know why either. I don't know. It, it is funny that she grows her hair out, but like kind of not really. It's like, it's like weird how she does it. All right, boss time. Excellent. Precepts guard, we're so over leveled. He's gonna be nothing. Yeah, take that, take that. Excuse you, ha um, what, uh, hello? This is not fair, why? Um, why? You, I cannot believe you slowed me? Like, that's not cool. Okay, that's, that's, that's like a war crime. You're gonna die for that, yeah, goodbye. I used to think was braid pr the braid was part of her outfit, yeah, and I kept seeing it, seeing it on all of them, yeah, it's her hair. Like, she really has like the longest rat tail ever. <laughs> oh, there you are. I knew I saw you walk in here, lady. Okay, so you can get down at this point, but we're not going to get down right now um, because there's other stuff that we want to get to get like all the treasures and things. So this is Tower 3 right here. So let's go... So it should be Tower... Yeah, so this should be tower two. So next we're gonna go defeat tower two. We gotta get the optional boss to pop up so that we can get a ribbon. Which requires us to make other, other little platforms pop out and then make them rotate around. So first step is defeat tower two. So that gives us this guy. Ooh yeah. I used to think, oh, that's the same message. I thought it was a new message for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she has like the long rat tail. That really doesn't quite make sense to me. Um, it just looks a little funny. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just to make things difficult on cosplayers. Although Final Fantasy is already kind of difficult on cosplayers, unless you just buy your costume. Okay, so that's Tower 2. Now we have to defeat Tower 1 four times okay so y'all help me keep count because you know i can't count so okay this is time number one it looks cool i'll give them that yeah it does so this makes you fight every i mean not every freaking christ that's the dragon um from 10 this is uh the precepts guard you fight him over and over you saw it was pretty easy to beat him because we're over leveled so yeah lulu has her 100 belt dresses right i love lulu though lulu's my favorite I am so sad at this game. Like, that's one of the things that I'm like, eh, in this in this game is that Lulu does not get, um, Lulu does not get uh, a new model. Like, she should get a pregnant model. Um, but no, she doesn't, for whatever reason. Like, it would not have taken much to give her and Waka slightly different models, you know? But they didn't. Okay, so that's one time. We gotta do it three more times till we get to four. Cause it's gonna make it rotate. I love how Gariku points it out, you don't look pregnant, right? She does. But then she goes and makes fun of like um, Waka gaining weight, but he hasn't. He still has like freaking washboard six pack. <laughs> like he's the fittest ever so you know I feel like at one point they like had plans to give them new models and then it just didn't happen by the time it was time to release the game I want to be Waka fat for real for real like if that's fat like the heck <laughs> alright so this is time number two number two
Yeah, you nothing, my dude. You nothing. Push over. I wonder if he'll end up oversouling. I feel like we fight him enough times he might end up oversouling. But his oversoul version isn't hard either. Alright, here we go. Here I go again on my own. Time number three. Take that, Precepts Guard. Take that. Did you just gravitate me? I forgot about Oversoul, yeah. Oversoul's fun in this game. Alright, so that was three times. We gotta do one more to get to four. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so that is in the correct position now. Let's push it up. Okay, so now we have to go to tower six. So that should be this one. To activate it. Get dead. Taste my bullets. Alright, now we have to go back to tower one and we have to defeat the boss two more times to get it get that one to rotate where it needs to rotate. I remember trying to do this the first time I played this game and I just did not understand the instructions. And I did end up oversouling this guy. Because I just kept fighting him over and over, trying to figure out like what the heck I was supposed to do, how I was supposed to do it. I did not understand. But I wanted that ribbon, but I ended up giving up because I just couldn't figure it out. But now I understand it, so I can actually do it. Goodbye. So that's one time. We gotta do it one more time. Alright, uno mas. Okay, no, we did not get Oversoul. I guess you have to fight him a lot more to make him Oversoul. I have no idea how many times I fought him when I was doing that round before. And I got lost and just kept going over and over. Bio, excuse you. We are done with poison. I have told you guys. This isn't cool anymore. God. Okay, but it's fine because you're dead now. So last thing I have to do is defeat Tower 4. Let's get my potions. And if you feel like I feel, I got the antidote. Okay. Um. So this would be, if this is Tower 1, 
So this would be six right here. And then five. And then four. New boss. What's up, my dude? How's it going? Oh, not. Oh, that bad? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, don't worry. I can totally send you to the far plane. So, um, that should be much better for you, and you won't be a fiend anymore. Uh, how does that sound? I think that sounds great. So, why don't we do that? Like, don't worry, it won't take long. You know, just a couple of trigger happies, and um, then you too will be happy. Yeah. I believe in us. We can do this together. See, I told you. I told you. Okay, so that's tower four. So then I think what I'm supposed to do is go to tower five and defeat tower five three times. And that should rotate it around so I can go get the ribbon. Okay, we do it again. Thundaga. I definitely need a potion up after this one. Oof. You almost killing my people. That's not good. Come on, die now. There we go. Alright, so that's Tower 5 one time. We need three times total. You gotta defeat him three times, always three times. It looks like maybe there's only one more time. Maybe it's just two times. And my notes are wrong. Anyways, we get a potion up. Alright. Again, again, again. Can't be me, bitch. I bet this boss is hard, though, if you just do the required stuff. So you would not have the resources to fight him over and over like this. <clears throat> First shot! It's only two, because that looks right now. How it's supposed to look, right? Maybe? This is tower three. No, this is tower one. Yeah, I did this wrong. Okay. Maybe I do need to defeat 
tower five three times. Okay, let's go back. So this is six. This is five. Okay, let's beat five one more time, see what happens. I think I might have messed this up. It doesn't look right to me. Is it clean? You got things to say? Okay, bye. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, see, that don't look right to me. That other one is not in the right spot. Okay, let's do a potion. I missed a time. I missed a time, I think, on the first one. Yeah, well, after I defeated Tower 2, I must have done Tower 1 only three times or something. So, okay, this is Tower 5 that I'm at right now. So this would be 6, 1, 2. I think it's Tower 2, that one that's messed up. Let's try it. Okay, so tower two is reactivated. So let's go back to tower one. Oh, he did, he's oversold. <laughs> we are gonna beat him oversold, okay. And I did mess it up. But I think his oversold version is easy too. If I remember right from last time. So I either did it one too many times or I need to do it one more time. But I see, I can easily see the position it's supposed to be in based on the other stuff, so. We're either going to fight him one more time or we're going to fight him a whole bunch more times to rotate it back around where it's supposed to go. Yeah, see, his Oversoul version's easy, too. I don't even know what changes in Oversoul, because it doesn't seem to really get any stronger. Or last longer as far as HP goes. Okay, oh no, I was supposed to fight him one more time. I missed a time. I guess I fought him three instead of four times. I thought I counted correctly, but I guess not. Okay, anyways, we're good now. It's all in the right spots. Let's potion up. Jump. We guess to get our bomb, 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 bomb. And here we go. Give me that ribbon. Yes, love it. Okay, I don't wanna go through there quite yet because there are a couple of more chests in this little area. Okay, this was tower one. Okay, so we gotta go over here. So behind some of these towers, there's additional chains. So we're gonna go behind a couple of them. So here's tower, this is tower six. 
And we're gonna go this way. And there's a chest. It has. 500 gil! And we're just gonna jump back down. And there is also a chest if we go behind tower 5. So this was tower 6, so this is gonna be tower 5 right here. And it has a chain as well. So you can see, like, tower, like that tower over there, tower, um, so that would be tower four. Its chain is broken. But the ones that have, like, intact chains, you can go up there. And they all have chests, I think. Can I walk around this guy? I can walk around him. We'll fight him after we get the chest. So behind tower five, we have... A glass buckle! And then we can fight this guy. The robot on the other one was already defeated and dead. And then it just disappears once it dies. Like we all do someday. Get down there. Okay, so that was behind tower five. So there is not one behind tower four. But there is one behind tower three, so we're gonna go up there. How this thing stays up with a bunch of its chains broken, I don't understand. Like, two of the chains are just straight up broken, and somehow it's still floating level, and it's, like, not a problem. Don't get it. Definitely don't get it. Must be magic, you know? Or other, like, fancy machina. Is this one skippable? It's so close. I feel like maybe it's not. Yeah, this one's not skippable. You cannot walk around it like you can on the other one. Boom, boom. Yeah, don't you, don't you do that. Don't you blast punch me. Excuse you. I'll keep interrupting you. That's right. You don't get to go. And the chest behind this one is a pearl necklace. Now we can actually go down and through the door. Okay, so this was tower th three. We gotta go up around a little bit. Yeah, I see it. Boop. 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 All right, we're finally done in the spinny circle ditch room. This chest is some ethers. Then we come up here, down this way, and there's a little, there's a chest right here. It's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna pick that one up too. Blast punch, blast punch lasts. It it it, it's, it hurts too much. Okay, and it and it like it causes big delay. It makes their little action timer like go way up. That's not fair. Not right. Oh, we gotta get the chest. This is some remedies. All right, if we go this way. Wait. Oh, there it goes. I was like. Why is it not triggering? <laughs> when you step on the middle, it'll trigger this, and then you can float across. It's apparently just slightly too big of a jump for Miss Jumpy Yuna. Get him.
much. You you do too much damage, my dude. Too much. You gotta calm it down. All right, and you definitely want to come out here and get this chest because... Hello, open up. Because it's a garment grid. It's downtrodder garment grid. So you definitely want to get that if you're trying to get all the garment grids. Okay, now we can cross back. And go the other direction. I'm gonna have to start switching to high potions. I'm using like all my regular potions going through here and healing up. Yeah, he dead now. All right, for this one, you gotta climb up these guys. It doesn't matter whether you do the left or the right one first. You just gotta do, gotta do one and then gotta do the other. Like this. And there we go. Now we can go across. Ouchie. Don't you hit pain again. There we go. Told you you wouldn't. There's LeBlanc and gang bringing up the rear. The clouds and move it! There's a connection. Everything is connected. I can feel it. Okay, so if we come up here and go around, I think there's a chest up here. Yes, I see it. Phoenix Downs, lots of Phoenix Downs. All right, let's talk to Snape and Snape's boyfriend. We're gathering information. Continue on ahead if you would. Okay. So we we actually want to do, instead of continuing, is do this thing right here. So this will stop it, I think? I'm, I thought I was supposed to just walk on it. Yeah, so walking on that stops the pistons, and then I think... Okay, I must be supposed to stop it at a certain time for Yuna to jump on it. It's, that's not the time yet. Is it this one? Then can she jump up there? No. 
Okay, I do have like extensive notes for your, there's two accessories you can get basically by doing this piston thing. And um, I do have extensive notes because it's kind of challenging. This isn't right either. Okay, let's try rotating it again. Maybe it's this one? No, that's not a position that works. It must be this one. There we go. Got up there. Okay, then I think I have to come around. That was very dangerous. Who did that? Okay. It's Riku. I think I figured out how this works. Careful. Just say the word and I'll move the platforms. All right. So if you press X to signal Riku, she'll move the platforms. Um, but she's only going to do it when you're in certain safe spots. Okay, so for there's two and there's two accessories, this bloodlust and ring that you can get from here. So for bloodlust, let me just see what my notes say. Keep an eye on the one that would be the left back one. When it rises as high as possible while the one on the right is about halfway up, stop it. Jump onto the back right piston, and then onto the rear left one, then get on the ledge in the back wall. I've never actually finished this. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it this time. It's happening. Okay. Come on, get your ass up there. How far is this into the game? Oh, this is um, the end of chapter two and there's five chapters total. Okay, come on, Yuna, hop your happy ass up there. Okay, maybe you have to walk. Oh my gosh, camera, stop. There we go. Why does this seem like the end of the game? I don't know, it's not, it's not the end. Okay, so if I signal Riku from here, I want to do when it rises as high as possible and the one on the right is halfway up. Okay. Riku, go ahead. Coming right up. Okay, let's see if this is the right position. I think I can jump up this way. And then can I jump this? Yes, I can. Okay, and then this way. And then, is this the right ledge for the chest? Or is it higher? Haha, -ha, there we go. All right, got bloodlust. All right, now from here, press X again, and we can further, okay. You'll want the left back one to be as high as possible, but the right back one to be as low as possible. Get on the right back platform again, then jump on the ledge and go through the door to the next area. Okay. So the right back one is gonna be low and the left back one's gonna be high. Riku, go ahead. You got it. this it? Hop, hop, hop. Oh, no, get that way. This way. There we go. We can get through the door, but there's... Hello, lady. I hear your little meow meows. Meow. Okay. Is this what I want? The other one through the door? The other one's through the door. Here it is. 
That was pretty easy, actually. Got a ring! Hello, lady, where are you? I'll give you pets. Hey, lady. There you go. You can come up here and say hi to everybody if you want to. Alright, so that's it. Bloodlust and ring. Alright, and then... Go through it to the door to the next area. Okay. Okay, so then either of the back platforms can be low as possible. Coming right up. For this next one. Okay. Oop, I didn't mean to signal her again. Dang it. You got it. Okay, definitely can't climb on that now. Yeah. Riku, Messed it up. Go ahead. You got it. Okay, now I can jump on? Come on, Yuna. There we go. I knew you could do it. All right, then this way. This way. And then down this way. Okay, we did it. We got both accessories. Yay. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Okay, we can continue on. Yeah, this is just, it's just the end of a chapter. This game kind of like, because there's five chapters, so there's kind of like climaxes at each of, at the ends of each of the chapters that kind of can feel like endings, but they're not. All right, so for this area, um, da, 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 da. we need to get on the one to the left first. And then we can open this chest here. And this is some high potions. Okay. The next thing you need to do is very, very important for a dress sphere, okay? This is very important dress sphere. Okay, here's what we do. We go south from here and we're gonna fall. And we're back in the, the little, the three, you know, the three lifts area. All right, and then we are going to use, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we need to go to this one. This lift right here, and we need to do this switch right here. And that's gonna rise that pillar. Or those two pillars. We gotta raise two more because we still can't get to there. All right. And then we need to use this lift right here. And then, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, go down towards the start and use the right most of the list to go up, yes. And then use the lift to let it... Like this. Okay, so this just raises me back up here. Do I need to do this switch? I mean, I do, but that's not, that's not what we're doing. Aha, there we go. Yeah, did it. Okay, so you want to get all those lifts up like, those uh, pillars up like that. Okay, now we can go up to this one. Oh, or we can do a random battle. That's, that's good, that's good too. It's the kicky guys. We remember them from 10. They like to kick you out the battle. I don't remember, I don't know if they do that in this game. Boom! Ba ba ba. Okay, go up there. Oh, wait, that's not right. This way? Yes, this is where we want to be. Okay, we already did that switch. Let's do this switch. Okay, since we rose the four pillars, we can do this and we can get on the lift. 
And now we can actually walk down this way and we can get this chest. Very important chest. This is the Dark Knight Dress Sphere, okay? This Dress Sphere is so freaking useful. Best Dress Sphere in the game, like so amazing. We have to have it. So you definitely want that. Okay, let's save. And let's continue. We're gonna use that starting in chapter three. wondering who was there. Were you now, Barilai? Were you? You don't have to tell me. I know why you've come. You're here to destroy the weapon that threatens all Spira, Vagna Gun. True. Am I right? If it could be destroyed, we would have done so long ago. But Vagna Gun must not be touched. Neither you nor Nuge seem to understand that. You talked to Nuge? He cannot be trusted. And you can be? Touche. Yes, I suppose Yevon has brought that distrust upon itself. At any rate, you need not interfere. Leave Vagnagun to me. What are you planning to do? The only thing I can do. Keep those who would seek to harm Vagnagun away. Please leave. Yuna. Riku. I'm going. Pain. Okay, oh, time to God. fight Barilai. Even if you side with New Yevon, you have to do this fight. It's like not avoidable. Alchemist is such a great healer because they can do the items so freaking fast like that. Sorry, I'm going ahead. You have your reasons. Fill us in later, okay? Much later. Wait up! With so many things woven together, what could be waiting where the threads meet? <sighs> what indeed? Let's see how much we can find out here. <gasps> oh no. We know who that is. should have healed in between. Oh, yeah. 
This music's so sad. Poor Bahamut. Why do you feel like this, Bahamut? No, don't you make a flare. I'm trying to help you. I wouldn't fight you if I didn't have to. You can't leave unless you beat it. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you have to defeat him. So if you really, if you haven't leveled up enough, like, you're stuck. That's so sad, Bahamut. Bahamut, I'm sorry. Super underleveled and could not win. Makes sense. Why is this happening? I wish you were here with me. Thank you, Pain. You were right. We had to fight it, didn't we? We did, Yuna. Well, I thought this was the end of the game. Oh, because it was for you, I understand. This hole was made recently. You think it was Vagnagon? Unreal. How deep do you think it goes? What? Where's Vegnagon? Not here. It must have fled in terror, knowing I was coming. Sure, LeBlanc. I don't think so. I must report to Nuji Wuji at once. Boys, record this. Don't miss a single detail. Yes, yes boss. boss. Vegnagun? Was it really here? This isn't how it was supposed to be. The eternal calm. I can feel it crumbling, falling away from beneath our feet. Yona! We are in Super Toto! Get back to Celsius on the devil! Chapter 2 complete. Okay, that is the end of the chapter. <clears throat> Bean tail bonus. Okay, yes, let's save our progress. Yes. All right, so we should be at 45% exactly at this point. So let's check. Yep, we're at 45% exactly. Okay, perfect. Let's start chapter three, my guys. I mean big time. Fiends are pouring out of the temples. Which ones? Only all of them! It's a pretty good state of the emergency. What should we do? Is it going time? Not exactly sphere hunter work. True. But seeing you now that could calm people down. Yeah, buddy, that's you right. I expect her to do the dirty work. Yeah, but Yuni wants to help, don't you? Oh. Hey, I got an idea! We could be your friendly neighborhood go wings! You mean taking out fiends and charging for it? A mech guide! What do you think? Well, why not? 
If that means we can help out people who are in trouble, then sure. Yeah, let's do it. That means spear hunting's on hold. Your friendly neighborhood goings. It's decided. Where to? Wait a sec. Ren no Eve. What could this mean? Maven news of the youth leaves. And Berlite Praetor of Nieven gone. What? They've disappeared. Fascinating. All right. Never mind. Brother does not care. <laughs> neighboring goblin, swear to. All right, we got a bunch of hot spots in this chapter, but oh, Oaka's paid off his debts and jumped ship. He headed to the travel agency in Makalania, of course. Okay, so he's paid off the. He's paid off the Albed. Okay, but we are not going to do anything yet until we do the couple of things that we need to do inside the Celsius. So that is first engine room treasures. So just like every chapter, we have engine room treasures here. And for this chapter, they are remedies, posh, high potions, some phoenix downs, and some ethers. Okay. We also need to fix our garment grid because we have the Dark Knight dress sphere now. So let's fix that. So we're still going to be using Hour of Need. That's still the best one to use. But I am going to replace um, Psychic right here with Dark Knight. And do that, yes. Okay. And then we are going to equip both Yuna and Pain with Dark Knight. Okay, let's do abilities. I want to go look at Pain's gunner abilities. How far did she get? Okay, she got pretty far. She was almost done. All right. For Dark Knight... We definitely want to get them doing all of these passives down here. There's a ton of passives on Dark Knight that are freaking awesome. Okay, so Yuna also needs to do these passives. Yes, she's going to learn Poison Proof. Okay, Dark Knight is amazing. And we definitely want two of our girls doing that. And then I just want to keep Riku on Alchemist. Because two Dark Knights and an Alchemist is an amazing combo. So we want to be ready for that. Next, in every chapter... Of course, we have to go sleep in the cabin. So we're gonna do that. Miss Yuna, what can I do for you? We are going to rest. Sleep tight. Thanks, Barkeep. All right, we're gonna jump down and let's go back to the bridge and save. All right, so we should be at 45.8% now, so let's use our tool and check. Yes, we're at 45.8, all right. Now the first stop, stop that we're going to have is in Calm Lands. So let's go over to Calm Lands. And we are gonna do, yeah, mission two, right? I think that's what I want. Yes, okay, let's do mission two. So we should be able to go up here. And up to the left, you want to make sure that Shinra places, places this Calm Sphere here. That's very important. Then we're going to come back out.
And then we're going to go over to the travel agency. There should be a treasure chest on the way, I think. Yeah, there it is. So on the way to the agency, there's this treasure right here. It's a mega phoenix, so you definitely want to pick that up. Travel agency, where are you? Oh, it's coming up soon. There it is. Okay, so you want to go into the travel agency. And here comes Shinra. Yep, and he's placing a comm sphere. So very important, he has to place the comm sphere here too. And then what we're going to do is pick up a couple more chests. So on the west wall over here, there should be another chest. So we're going to head over there. Ooh, more chocobos. No, it ran away. Damn it, I was too slow. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Darkness is why Dark Knights are so awesome. That ability is amazing. Alright, so the other chest is over here on the west wall. There it is, I see it. And this is Sprint Shoes. See, is that what I think it is? Oh, at the beginning, user can use haste. No, that is pointless. I just want haste auto applied. Auto haste is what I'm looking for. There is an accessory that does that, but I cannot remember where when you get it. I think it, mu it must be later. It must be like chapter five or four or something. All right, next chest is up the ramp. So we're going back to the ramp at the beginning of the area. And I think it's, yeah, it's not at the bottom here like it was in the previous chapter. It's actually up. It's like up and at this end. Yeah, I remember the chest was at the bottom of the ramp last time. Not this time, it's at the very top. there it is, ethers. All right, so we gotta run all the way back down. Then I didn't think we'd get this far today, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go look at my chapter three notes and let's see where I wanna go first. Let's see where we wanna go first. And you don't, there's no percentage points, by the way. This couple of, these couple of things that we did in the calm lands, making sure that um, the spheres were placed or whatever, like there's no percentage points for that. So we're not checking our percentage quite yet. Okay, there are several, like, short ones that we can do. Back to the agency. Yeah, I think we can do... There's a couple places that I think would be good. I just gotta calculate what my total percentage should be. Can I walk this way? Yes. Walk this way. Oh, nope. There you go. 
You got it, Yuna. She can't jump here. She can't jump. It's so silly. Oh, battle time. Leave it to me. Oh, <gasps> Chocobo! Chobocobo! Yay, we caught him. Okay, I know what area we want to go to next. We're gonna try to do a couple of like the short little areas. Okay, let's do board airship. And we're gonna go first to Mushroom Rock Road. Let's see how the Youth League feels about us now. Um, now that, uh, you know, it's a little bit more ambiguous. What's up? Can they trust us? Can they trust us? So we want to make sure Shin replaces that comm sphere there. Very important. And I'm going to walk back over here like we like to do. Because guess what? In this chapter, there's a chest as well. So we're going to go up. And in this chapter, it is... 2,000 gil. I feel like it's gil. This chest is like various amounts of gil a lot of times. I think almost in every chapter it is. All right. And then there is one conversation here for some percentage points. So let's go have it. It's down here. I think it's just right at the entrance. I don't think I even have to go into Mushroom Rock Road itself. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I literally can't. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, Lady Yuna. Yibel, hello. Captain. Forgive me. I uh, I have to return to my duties. He seems so eager to talk. When you're in a group, you can't put yourself first. Oh, pain. There don't seem to be many fiends. I guess we can go. Lucille! Lady Yuna, there is something I would like to ask you. That is, if you don't mind speaking with someone in the Youth League. Of course I don't mind. What is it? As you are probably aware, we have not heard from Maven Nuge, our leader, in some time. Lady Yuna, have you no information as to his whereabouts? I'm sorry, but we don't know any more than you do. I see. If we see him, we'll tell him to return here. Thank you. He's missing. What a shame. All right, so that's it. That's all you can do in Mushroom Rock Road when you have chosen Youth League. Next, let's go over to Jose, see what's going on there. So we have a conversation with Gipple. Gipple, those two guys are missing. Do you know anything about it? Hey, it's Sid's little girl. I have a name. You seem close. We made quite the couple. Couple? <laughs> Riku's always good for a laugh. If you're here about digging, this isn't the best time. Well, there were fiends here too, right? Want us to clean up for ya? Fiend hunting? What? You guys give up the sphere gig? Temporarily. Right now, we're helping people out. Maybe you'd like to hire us? Nope. Wow. You already took it's like that. Sin. We can't go running to you every time we get into trouble. Well, I guess that's a good point. Hmm, I watch my own back. Hmm, show off. <laughs> well, be careful. You too. Right. Come on.
Another outbed primer. Okay, so there is a couple chests here. There's this one by the save sphere. Some Phoenix Downs. And then on the bridge over here, there's another potion. Now, you can see like a bunch of the people are gone. There's like, they're just not here. So there is not any publicity um, or matchmaking to do in Jose like there normally is. This is the closest one to that one person though that's technically part of the Moonflow one. So I'm just gonna run over there and talk to her real quick. So you guys remember, we come over here and if you go this way over to the Moonflow, she's like right at the entrance. So we're gonna go ahead and do her. Oh, not Geshel Greens, the heck. Attack. Oh, I should probably be darknessing. What am I doing? Why am I attacking? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bum, bum, bum. That's right. All right, she's up here. Hey lady, what's up? So you can still talk to her for it. So you can do publicity, um, third one for her and then matchmaking first one. Okay, now we can go back to the save sphere. Now, darkness is an awesome ability, but it does cost their health. They do have to use some of their health to use it. But that's like the whole gimmick with Dark Knight. It's a risk-reward sort of dress sphere. But if you use it effectively, it is amazing. There's enough pain to go around. Fear. All right, let's board the airship. Boom. All right, so let's let's head over to Moonflow next. Let's see what's going on over there. Okay, so there are a couple of um, publicity and stuff that you can do here. The kid in yellow, you can do publicity for him again. And he does the fifth one. The kid in red right here beside the stairs, you can do publicity for him. And it is also the fifth one. And then if we go to the, yeah, to the other side. Right. Yes. Oh. There's so much for this game. There really is. Like, it just, it's kind of, like, amazing. And then this lady right here, you can do publicity for her, the fifth one, and matchmaking as well, the fourth one. Let's head back. And I realized I didn't save after Jose to check our percentage. So we should have gotten 0.4% from Mushroom Rock Road, that scene with Lucille and Yibel. And we should have gotten 0.2% from Jose, the scene with Gipple. So we should be at 46.4% now. So let me just go to the save sphere and let's make sure that's the case. All right, we saved. Let's make sure we're at 
that my math is still right. Yes, we're at 46.4. Okay. There are some percentage points here in Moonflow as well. Uh, the way we do those is we got to talk to Tobley twice. Also, you got to make sure Shinra puts this comp sphere, but the percentage points are, are Tobley right here. Oh, this won't do. It won't do at all. We finally put it on in the show, of course. But there's no passion, no climax. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot off. Talk to him again. I can't run a show without climactic passion. I must have miscalculated. This wasn't supposed to happen at all. Uh, don't worry, Toby. I'm sure your next show will make up for it. Next show? How can there be a next show when the first show made the next show a no show? Well, one thing surely for sure, I need to attract celebrities to attract an audience. Huh. Got any celebrities in mind? <laughs> I wonder, Yuna, I wonder. Well, let's see, let's see. The most celebrated celebrity... Eureka! Yuna, run. What's wrong? Don't ask, just run. Run now, run fast. Um, okay. Wait, wait, wait! Just a moment! Keep running. Hey, oh, pain. What's gotten into you? Do you really need to ask? You know what he's planning, right? This is our big chance! It might be fun. <sighs> oh, pain. You're overruled. You're overruled by fun. I think that's all you do, though. Yeah. I think you just talk to him twice. And then he doesn't offer you anything yet. We'll have to come back and, and, and do his offer. It's a little anticlimactic, but don't worry, that's going to pay off later. Okay. All right, you guys. He does Yakko's voice from Animaniacs. Yes, okay. Everyone in this game and in 10 is like star studded. I swear to God. Like, it's everybody, every famous voice actor ever. All right. For y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for joining us. Next time, um, on next Sunday, we are going to see what's going on in Bavel. There's, since we sided with New Yevon, there's a bunch of stuff that we can do there, a bunch of um, chests we can pick up, things like that. So we're going to do that next time. Um, for this time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.